Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the Tin Man's Corner channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor, and today I'm buying my mask shelf because I wanted to review one of my latest Halloween mask purchases. Now, I picked this up over at uh, the Liver Free Superstore in Hall River, North Carolina. They had, uh, when you walked in, they usually have the Halloween costumes like right in the front as you walked in, like the center aisle. But they moved it towards the uh, front where they got like dressing rooms at. So I was just looking through there, and Mom found this one. I said, "Oh smokes, <laughs> a granny mask." <laughs> and it's uh, you can only buy these masks only at Walmart because the tag says Walmart on the back. <laughs> so I tried researching it, but I can't not think of who's the maker. So if you guys know who made these masks for Walmart, let me know down in the comments, all right? Because I don't see any information like that on here. Yeah, no maker's label or nothing. They ain't even stamped in the mask, but uh, Mom tried this on. It, it could barely fit her head, but she said if I don't use it for actual wearing masks, she could put it on a mannequin head and use it for, like, display. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to swap masks and show you how this thing feels on my head on my face basically so hold on tightly okay um <laughs> hello everybody do you want some homemade cookies <laughs> uh i would say if you got a big head like i do don't purchase one of these masks it's really tight oh uh, I can barely see it. I got it right here. I can see you out of this one. But this one's kind of cutting in my eye, so. I would recommend trying to find another grandma mask that's a little bit bigger if you want to be a grandma. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll give fit more like a uh, three. Because it, it barely fit on my head. And also, you got to get these ears around your ears at least. But this thing barely got over my head. It doesn't have no elastic in it or nothing. If I try to tie this around my neck, it'll probably suffocate me to death. But yeah, I might just go with Mama's advice and uh, use this just for like you know display purposes only. Or I might you know hold it on for a while and then sell it maybe, which is an idea. But anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for now. Don't forget to. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications for more mask content like this. As always, this has been another successful installment of the Tin Man's Corner Show. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor. I say that's a wrap, and have a nice day, and good luck with all you at mask hunting. I know you probably find some good scores out there. Since Halloween's approaching, you never know what you'll find now, especially at the thrift store. <laughs> anyway. Sorry now, everybody.